Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> the Kidnapped Mucus, Part Two. Hold on, that's... Suddenly, Sheriff Labrador noticed the bookcase in the corner of the video with a somewhat familiar trophy on it. Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly glistened. I think I know who kidnapped Mookus. Who, who is, is it? it? The kidnapper is Gordo the Tiger. Sheriff Labrador pointed at the trophy in the corner of the paused video image, and a beam of confidence flashed behind his dark, round eyes. This is the championship trophy from the first annual competitive eating contest held at the food court last month. The winner was none other than Gordo the Tiger. On the top of an old residential building, Sheriff Labrador, Officer Doberman, and Mr. Bull quietly spied out the house across the street with binoculars. They saw a fat tiger with a big head, a round belly, and a strong body moving, pacing back and forth in the living room anxiously, holding a mobile phone. And tied up on the couch next to the fat tiger was a little black calf. It was none other than the kidnapped Mookus. Mookus, my precious little boy. How dare Gordo the tiger. I'm going to destroy him. Hey now, hey now. I'm going to get Mookus out of there. Wait, Dobie, Mr. Bull, take it easy. Gordo looks very strong. If we go straight in there, there's a good chance that Gordo could hurt Mookus in desperation. So, so then, then what, what should, should we, we do? do? Sheriff Labrador was lost in thought. His brows knitted. At that moment, Gordo called again. Hello, Mr. Bull. I already sent you the video. When are you gonna tell me the special burger recipe? The special burger recipe? Um, aha, I have an idea. Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes suddenly glistened. He quickly typed something on his cell phone and motioned for Mr. Bull to read out what he typed word for word to Gordo. Uh, uh, if, if I give you this special burger recipe, will you really let Mookus go? Yeah, you have my word. All right, all right. Then listen carefully. The reason my special burger is so tasty is because it has my secret sauce in it. The secret sauce is made with onions, garlic, lemon, potatoes, cucumbers, green peppers, carrots, and... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Onions, garlic, lemon, potatoes, cucumbers, green peppers, carrots, and... Uh... Oh, oh, and smelly pickled radishes, sour herring, rotten sauerkraut, and melon peels. All right, smelly pickled radishes. Uh, uh, wait, smelly pickled radishes, sour herring, rotten sauerkraut, and melon peels? Mr. Bull, are you kidding me? A sauce made from those stinky ingredients couldn't possibly taste good. It has to smell awful. Gordo asked incredulously over the phone. Caught off guard, Mr. Bull didn't know how to answer him. His mouth agape, he looked nervously at Sheriff Labrador. Sheriff Labrador quickly typed something on his cell phone and motioned for Mr. Bull to read out word for word. Uh, uh, well, I am telling you, things never turn out the way you expect them to. You will be surprised at how delicious those ingredients taste when you combine them. All those smelly ingredients will eventually combine to form an incredibly unique aroma. <laughs> really? Of course, absolutely. Seeing is believing. Just try it. Why would I lie to you when you have my son? Uh, well, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll try making it now. Mr. Bull felt relieved when Gordo hung up the phone. Phew. Officer Doberman looked at Sheriff Labrador. Hey, now, Lab, that's not the recipe for the special burger. That's the recipe for a stink bomb? What are you planning? Sheriff Labrador smiled. A beam of confidence flashed behind his dark, round eyes. Don't worry. Let's wait and see what happens. 
Gordo ordered a bunch of ingredients online and dug through his trash. Before long, he had all the ingredients he needed. Happily, Gordo bounded into the kitchen to try his hand at making the secret sauce. Shooby dooby dooby doo, onions and garlic, smelly pickled radishes, and sour herring. Ooh, hey ho! <laughs> the sound of chopping garlic could be heard coming from the kitchen. Out of nowhere, there was a loud bang at the door. Gordo's ears twitched. 